All right, Ian C. is Lino Gutekulu, is in Nelmapius in Pretoria to tell us more, and he joins us now live. Lindo, a little earlier on, you were showing us visuals of those residents who look very distressed. What are they telling you this morning? Are they thinking of vacating the area? When we are about to speak to them, Masejo, but I do understand that there is a community hall nearby that uh, has been made available for those that uh, have lost everything, those that cannot go back to their homes with this devastation of floods here in the uh, Mafia's extension uh, 3. My colleague, Teddy Mnyamban, is just showing you uh, some of the devastation that uh, was uh, uh, in this area. Some of the houses completely submerged, but these are the uh, ones that are further away from the stream. And my colleague, I see they is struggling a bit to just move around because it is a uh, muddy here but we, you are seeing in fact some of the residents here just cleaning up and trying to get the water out it does seem that uh, some of them will not be vacating or will not be evacuating this area in fact i'll try Masiko, uh, to go and get a word or two from the gentleman that's uh, uh, sweeping the water from outside there hey baba how's it my brother could we speak to you for a second? Just see if you can come and explain to us what happened uh, uh, when, when, when the rain uh, hit. We understand that at around 2, that's when the flood started. Just explain to us what happened from what you experienced. Uh, this thing started to happen around uh, half past 12, mm. actually, because uh, there was another guy who came in, woke me up from one of the toxins, the water is coming in. Mm. Then after that, I woke up with my little sister, then we, we went that side. Then they were eventually the water after some few minutes, he stopped, and then we came back to sleep. After after some hours again, then the water came back again. Then it was it was pumping too much now. It was too much. Now this place is not a place where people are supposed to live. You see, it's just that you know it's poverty we are suffering. You know that's a problem. Yeah. The, the, the rain certainly devastated most parts of this area. We see some shacks, in fact, that are completely uh, uh, underwater. Uh, but I'm seeing you sleeping here. Are you planning on sleeping here tonight, despite what you are seeing with your neighbors? No, I can't, because the place is too dangerous, my brother. You understand? The place is too dangerous. What, if, what the, the community leaders and the councillors and Mr. Tau mm. advise us to go to the community hall mm. so that we can have a some sort of like a peace of mind, mm. you see, because this place is way too dangerous. Mm. I don't want to lie to you. All right, my brother, we'll, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for speaking to us. One of the residents, Masejo, here, uh, just giving us a sense of what happened, but they're saying that uh, in the early hours of the morning, that is when some of the floods started here. But as we move, Masejo, we're just showing you some of the situations around here, but we're moving closer to uh, one of the community leaders that has been able uh, to uh, liaise with some of uh, the uh, uh, leadership in terms of uh, government here in Tuan, uh, just to get a sense uh, from them in terms of what the plan is. But we do understand that there are some provisions that are being made. We understand the MMC for housing that is able to uh, here in Tuan uh, was also here earlier on. And what they are talking about is that people must, in fact, move uh, to a community hall. But you are seeing what you are seeing on your screens is just another revelation of uh, some of the shakes that uh, did not survive this course. Uh, uh, Teddy Mnyamban is just giving you a picture of some of the people here, some of the community members still trying to salvage whatever they can possibly get. But you are seeing there that, uh, in fact, uh, some of those houses will not be able to accommodate the people around this area in terms of uh, sleeping tonight. But let's speak to Utate uh, Tisemba Matala, who is a, a community leader here, just to get a sense really of uh, uh, what is going to happen from now on. Tate Matala, first of all, you're saying that this is not the first time this happened in this part particular community. But if this has happened before, why are people still settled here? Uh, greetings to the viewers. Yes, you're speaking the truth that this thing is, is happening for almost for, for fourth or, or, or third time. Mm -hmm. It is continued each and every year, but we uh, municipality always come here and giving us a, a empty, a, 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 a empty promise. Since uh, on, on the 9th, 2019, mm -hmm. they've been uh, promising a lot of empty promises that uh, next week they're going to relocate you. Next week they're going to relocate you. Even uh, Minister of Cox, the mi uh, Minister and Gossesan at she, she knows about the situation. Even President Ramaphosa, she knows about the uh, situation. MMC of, of uh, uh, Cox, uh, uh, of the provincial, he knows about the province, including the Premier, he knows about the, uh, the thing. But each and every year they're always saying we progress a land, we progress a land, but we are not getting to that land because each and every time, I think they, 
they are play, playing politics with uh, poor people. Mm. Just explain to us uh, in terms of the injuries, because you have been able as community members to find each other and see if everyone is okay. Uh, is there anyone that is missing? Is there anyone that is injured at this stage? Yeah, there are many people who are injured because remember, it's not only this informal cement. There is the other informal that's uh, that side it's called a Marikana soul seed. They're just giving us the number. The, now the, the total people who are injured are about to, to the 12 because other uh, uh, ambulance take uh, other people to, 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 to hospital. But later on we'll be having anything. But the fatality, the, the, no one have reported the fatality as, as now. Yeah. And in terms of people that are missing, are you guys still finding each other? Yeah, we are still tracking to find each other. Uh, uh, but later on, we'll be having a situation because, because you can't know whether somewhere they rent to some, they, they went to somewhere or uh, rent to for, for, for to a safety net. Just very quickly, the last question is: in terms of accommodations that have been provided, we understand that in that Abel Dao, who is the MMC for housing, was here. What are, are the provisions that have been provided for these people as an alternative? Because we see some of the uh, houses here are definitely not going to be able to be occupied while the river stream is still this high. Uh, if you can look here. They, they always come here with a, a short term short term plan. Mm. We need a long term plan, a future plan, mm. because now they're promising us a temporary shelter. Mm. This thing is not uh, happened for the first time. Mm. They gave us a, a shelter, a community hall, mm. where we stay almost a year at the community hall. That's why we decided to come back and, and, and recite here again. Because of the privacy, there was uh, many issues there that we came back here and recite again. But now we need a long term plan that they're going to relocate people. They've been promising. Now we want action to be taken to relocate us with immediate effect before someone will die because they, our government uh, they learned they, they learn a lesson while someone is dead or something we don't want to, to get it that to the situation we just need a, 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 a city of Swan to come and relocate us and I'm so embarrassed about the mayor he knows about this thing he knows about things but he never even came to here and check us all right, thank you so much. We'll leave it there at the December Matlala for now. Uh, but Maseho, just uh, uh, Dada Matlala speaking about the fact that there is indeed uh, provisions that have been made for them. But what he says is that uh, government always comes uh, every time there is such an occurrence and he, uh, they provide a solution that is temporary. What they're asking for is a long-term solution. On the background, what you are seeing are some of the houses, the devastation of the floods here. This is the situation as some community members uh, brave some of these waters. The current is not uh, too strong here, so they are trying to salvage whatever they possibly can, but it remains a dangerous situation and those provisions of moving to the community hall will be a shelter for many of these residents that cannot uh, occupy some of these houses that you are seeing now.